Hello, this is Mitchell from JM Editing Channel, bringing you a tutorial today on Cinema 40 spline masks, doing those really cool outlining spheres. Um, here's an example. Yep, just like that. Okay, let's get started. Um, this is Cinema 40 R12. Okay, so what we want to start out with is go to the spline tab, get a rectangle and a circle okay so now you want to do is get the rectangle make it a little bit bigger than the than the circle just like that that way it outlines it like or it goes over it then you want to go to your array tab and get the spline mask and then just highlight them both and drag them into it now go right here to mode change it to A intersect B and now click on your rectangle and if I go up you see it disappears and when I go down it appears so what we're going to do we're going to go on top of it go to your zero frame keyframe it move it forward to like 55 and then bring it down to where your sphere shows up and keyframe that so now in the movement it'll look like that okay um, now what you want to do is go to your NURBS tab and get the lathe, lathe the NURBS, and just drag it into that. And now we have the basic right there. Um, I like it. I like it to when it, I like it to go up. So just turn it 180 degrees. And now when we play, it'll just go up. And as you can see right here, there's no circle so click on your circle spline go to ring and then just make it bigger I hate that little circle alright so now just make the ring bigger until you get to the edge you want right about 184 is perfect so now it'll look a lot better too um if you can't really see it just put just make a texture real fast and just put it white so you can see what it looks like Okay, see now you can see a lot better, and as you can see when we play, just like that. It looks a little bit weird right there, but when you render it, it doesn't look so weird. Okay, so that's a basic right there. So now just minimize the thingy right there, and then click Control C, Control V, and now you have two. Now just click on the second one. Go right here to the size tool and click the middle and just drag it bigger and then let me check real fast and then just make sure that it's not too much bigger make sure pretty much like snug fits around it and then, just and then just open the second one up click on the rectangle and highlight the two keyframes and drag them down right there and then you can see that all I have to do is just click on the rectangle make it bigger or smaller actually where is it yeah smaller I believe and it makes the first one and then it makes the second one um, if you don't like it just go on the same way just again click on the lathe nerves and then just rotate it some way or rotate it completely sideways now we play that'll make up and then that'll circle around it just like that um, you want to make some really good um, you know like colors for it and stuff like that and after you make a good color and you like how it looks just just click control and then drag over and it automatically copies it and then just go to color and just change it to whatever you want I'm going to put it to um, a nice aqua blue or baby blue whatever you want to call it I'll put that one on the second one and then um, if you want to like my video as you can see like the cool background is like a tan and it has some really nice color on it stuff like that what you want to do is say you have your cool spheres going like that so when you render it 
They look pretty cool. So what you want to do is um, go right here to the light tab and get a um, get a where is it sunlight. Um, it looks black. All you have to do is go to the sun, the sun tab on it. Change the latitude and longitude somewhere you might want it, and then just change the time. And as you can see, it'll spin around. And as you can see right there, it's actually showing. And if you don't like how high it is, just change the latitude up. As you can see right there, it's getting orange. So now, if I render it, it has a really nice orange color, orange tone. Don't worry about that circle. If I play it, it'll go away. And then um, what I use is I got this from Acres. It's a really cool dude. Acres. Um, I got these light rooms from him. What I use is I use the ring light. I just delete the meta ball. And then open up the light room. And then um, just click the cloner for ring lights. Drag those out. And if you want, you can delete the light room if you want. But um, I like to just make them red and then it'll disappear so it doesn't lag too much, you know. Now you have the ring lights right there. Just drag them down so it has a really nice light to it. And now if I want to put in the walls again. And then you see that really, really bad um, shadow. So just click on the sun, go to the shadow, and take it off. Just put it none. That's what I do. And then, yeah, you can see how much it lags. Um, if they're in the ground, just highlight them both. And then drag them up. Right there. And it'll move all the keyframes and everything of that to where it is right now. So now if I render it, it has a pretty sexy orange glow with the nice reflection lights. And the render settings I use is render, render settings, um, I change it to, f if you're making a video, um, put it HDV, HDTV 729.97 to all frames, save to a QuickTime movie, or if you don't have QuickTime, just go to AVI. Um, ANSI aliasing, put it on best for animation, or filter animation. Options, put it down to 6, and then 2. Effects, I use ambient occlusion, and I use depth of field, and I bump it up to about 10. And, now if I try to render it right here, It'll, it'll, it's going to take a while because it's, you know, I'll just try render region real fast and just the only circle. And I'll pause it real fast. Okay, so it's done rendering. And as you can see, you can see a little bit of a smoother um, circles. And a lot smoother shadowing, sort of, you know. And a lot smoother background. Um... Those are my those, those are my better sayings. That's basic. Um, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you.